All right, so I'm taking apart my Xbox One S uh, after about three or four years of having it. And you can tell it's pretty dusty. You know, I needed to clean it up just a little bit. Here's the hard drive right here. Yeah, pretty nasty. But here's another thing that you should really take into consideration when you're buying products like this. Now, I'm taking it off, taking a heat sink off and everything, and look how dry this thermal paste is. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I'm sitting here with the, the alcohol and everything, and this stuff is like, like it's so dry. It's like stone almost. And I don't know if I should actually like scrub it off my finger now because I might rip one of those little transistors off of there, but I don't want to. You know, I just don't want to risk, you know, messing up my Xbox over this. Look at this. This is crazy. That is like just the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And I want to try and attempt to clean this damn thing. Uh, I got my alcohol right here. Uh, this is the kind you want to use when you're cleaning like thermal paste and stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm going a, I'm to a actually come back to you here in a minute to see if I can actually get this stuff off successfully. <sighs> All right, so I managed to get most of it off. I'm not going to be worrying about the, um, the stuff on the side because there are tiny little things. You see those things right there? Yeah, I don't want to be pulling those off. So I'm guessing, I mean, we could just leave it on there because, I mean, it's not like our heat sink is going to be making contact with those anyway. So I am going to be applying my newer thermal paste that I got here. It is um, Corsair M TM30 thermal paste. And we're just going to apply just a tiny amount. Don't want to put too much. Especially on this, because it's not an actual CPU. Do something like, oh, oh, okay. I think that might be a little too much. Okay, let's grab a little Q-tip right here. Let's kind of scrape some of it off. I don't know if it will come off. Fuck, hold on, I gotta read. That is like, good enough. I mean, you don't want to pour too much on there, but um, yeah, I think this will definitely make my system run a lot better. Considering how dry that stuff was, I mean, I've never seen thermal paste that dry in my life. Honestly, like, I can't even pull that off right now. But anyway, yeah, I'm going to be putting the, um, where is it? I'm going to be putting this thing back on there, which I imagine will be a pain in the ass because I got applied that, that X clamp again. But, uh, yeah, I'll be, just, I'll be, I'll be back once I have it all together and we'll see if it turns on. Well, all right, that went smoothly. No leftover screws or anything, but... Yeah, I got everything hooked back up and everything put back together. Now I just got to put away all my tools and stuff. And now we got to figure out if this damn thing actually works. I'm going to hit the power button on my TV. And we're going to plug this in to the back. Just like this. I think I'm doing it right. All right. Here we go. An autofocus. Three, two, one. And it turns on. Let's see if it boots up, actually. That's all I care about. Should have actually done this before I put everything back together. Oh! There we go! Awesome, alright. Now let's make sure that fan is spinning. Yes, it is. I feel it. It's cold. I think I have to play some games to actually get it cranked up, so... Uh, let's just see. If, let's just make sure it gets to the boot screen. Or the post screen, as PC guys would say. Yeah, a lot of stuff just scattered all over the place. Sorry about that. Let's see, come on. And there we go. Everything is booted up. Everything is working just as fine, it seems. Let's make sure our... Okay, your eject button still works. That's a good thing. Uh, let's see. Controller. There it is. Okay, let's make sure it still works as well. Alrighty. Yeah, everything seems to be working. Um, we be we are connected to the internet. Everything is working just fine. So we're going to go ahead and crank up some games, and we are going to see exactly how good this uh, new thermal paste is and this whole new thingy thing. I don't know. 
All right. Well, everything seems to be working just fine. I just, you know, cranked up Halo 2 Anniversary, and I feel a lot of heat coming out of this, to be honest. That's actually a really good thing, because it means that heat transfer is a lot better. Look. I barely hear it. Like, you, like hold on. Let me pause it. Let me turn off this fan here. Make it as quiet as possible. And listen. Like, it's barely revving up. Like, wow. So, I say it is definitely worth it to um, change your thermal paste out every once in a while to ensure that your console will actually last longer doing that as well. And also, your games will run better, I guess. Um, I don't know. I mean, damn, look how good this game looks <laughs> compared to how it was a few years ago. Uh, but anyway... Yeah, I um, hope you all enjoyed this video, and um, I hope you all like get some some motivation to actually change your thermal paste out, because it's always very important to do so. But anyway, this has been it. Peace out.